Last two years, we were concerned and worried about all the restrictions to travel. Obviously, we didn't want to comply. But finally, we got to know that some countries were lifting these nonsense rules. So we wanted to give a try, traveling as before, as it always should have been. In that list was Sweden. So we hopped on the bus. Sadly, we had to wear a mask. Before getting to the airport, we had dinner with my friend Marcelo and his girlfriend in Malaga City. And then we went to wait for our flight for a few hours. Obviously, we stay up all night reading our books. What can be better than traveling and good literature? We live in the south of Spain and traveled to Sweden in the past, but this time felt like a first time. After staying up all night, we wanted to catch some sleep on the plane. Impossible. We were traveling with Ryanair. Once we landed in Sweden, we were happily surprised. Nobody was wearing a mask. For us, it was a freedom symbol, totally unexpected. We went through the police checkpoint without it. So we were insanely happy. Very funny on the bus to Stockholm, most of the travelers coming from Spain didn't want to get rid of their mask. And they were furious. Why nobody in Sweden is covering their faces? So it was really funny. The travel was totally worth it. Welcome to the free country of Sweden where citizens decide for themselves. There I am, loving the city. Stockholm is one of my favorites in Europe. So we just find our hotel, drop our bags, and run to see the city. We only have one day, one full day in the city. We are very happy with the room, so good shower, good bed, and amazing views to the Vasa church. So now we are ready to go and visit the city. Walking the streets, I can't forget my first trip to Sweden. It was like 10 years ago with my friend David. We came to the city just to party all night in a Sture plan. I remember Spy Bar, Sture Hof. So I took Soledad to come and see Sture plan, but with daylight. So something totally different. In every city, my first visit is to the library. I love books, so we went to the Stockholm Public Library and I was amazed because I love this building. From there, we walked through Stureplan and I show Soledad where we used to party, like uh, all the bars, the famous bars. Once in Sargel, we sat, we had a sandwich, and we realized the bunch of hours that we were awake, but we had a lot of energy. We were so happy to be in Sweden and just seeing the city. Dramaten, the historic building, of the Swedish theater, it was funny because before traveling to Sweden, we spent a few nights watching Swedish cinema and Igmar Bergman movies, of course. From there, we just jumped into Gamla Stand and got lost in all the little streets, the colorful buildings. It's just so beautiful that and different from where we live. Once in Soderman, we got involved in that bohemian and multicultural vibe of that part of the city. And we sat in a coffee uh, to wait 
for our dinner appointment. We were about to visit uh, Vader. Vader is a friend that I met 10 years ago in Peru. We were volunteering in a hostel in Cusco. So I was so happy to see him again. Vader lives with Moa, his girlfriend, and they prepare very tasty dishes. So we were so happy to end our day in Stockholm with amazing friends. After two days awake, we finally got a good night of sleep. Next morning, we woke up, took the train to Arlanda Airport to get our rental car. We are so keen to drive and discover the Swedish nature. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and looking forward to see you next.